Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Non Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. And today is our wrap up for our book cover inspiration. And I'm making lapgans for wheelchairs. And it's the end of June. And I can't believe how fast this year is going. Like we're halfway through the year already. So uh, June is completed. I finally got my uh, lapgan done. And I'm ready to share it with everybody. Um, Carlotta sent in her lapgan and it is perfect. I will be showing hers in a little bit. So the book this week is, as you saw from the, uh, I don't know, that little square thing to click on. It is The Help and it's by Catherine uh, Stockett. And um, I loved this book. And like I said, uh, I downloaded the audio and I had it done in a few days. I was hoping it would last longer, but I, I just love the accent and um, such a spectacular book. And I, if you ever get the chance, if you haven't read it, you really should read it. It's um, done in the early 60s where um, the higher class down south um, had maids every day to come and help them with their household chores and raising their kids. And basically, they were nannies and raising all the uh, the children. So it's such a good book. And it's done from the perspective of a, uh, a young graduate in writing and from two of the... Uh, the uh, the help so it was really really good I really enjoyed it and like I said if you get a chance if you haven't read it you should go read it it's really really good so I um, chose my colors I used all red heart and I'll put a picture of the book up in the corner somewhere and the colors I chose were uh, all all red heart like I said and the first one is pale yellow that's pretty good there. Colors are turning out well today. I don't know why. Pale yellow. And then the next color I used was light jasmine. And finally, I used burgundy. And there were just tiny bits of burgundy in the birds. And I thought the way to start it. But I used a square. And the square I used is called the Retro Flower, and it's a granny square. And um, on YouTube, it's uh, Megan, I'm just checking my notes here, Porter. She's got a, a tutorial out on how to do it, and I really liked it. I thought it was, it's a 60s blanket, not quite, um, it's more flower power, but um, it's from the 60s, so I thought it would be appropriate uh for that. I'm going to make this short and sweet today. Um, my mom's back in the hospital. She, um, her blood pressure dropped and, um, then she got a blood clot and what else? And she's got an infection. So it took a while to find where it is. So she was on antibiotics. Today is Friday and, um, we're hoping she's going to get out today. They've said by all accounts, she'll be out for our long weekend. It is, um, Canada Day this weekend, July 1st for us Canadians. And I know Americans have July 4th coming up. And I'm not sure when your long weekend is, but our long weekend is this weekend. So we're hoping my mom can get out for the long weekend and hopefully come here for a barbecue. Um, just one thing after another with my mom. So, you know, she's feeling good now. She's lost a bit of weight, but um, I'll fatten her up. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to barbecue in um, our small little town of Oakville here in southern Ontario. It's supposed to rain and thunderstorm all weekend long. So it's a little disappointing, but I'm still going to have them over. And um, I'm not sure what the rest of the family is doing. I think my daughter and um, her husband are going camping for the weekend, the long weekend. So they'll have a great time. They don't care if it's raining or not. They, um, they got themselves a trailer just before the world shut down. So it was perfect timing for them. So they did get to do some uh, vacations during the shutdown time. So that's uh, what's going to happen this weekend. But we'll get into that at a different time. So the blanket, um, I'm very pleased with. I love it. I think it'll be perfect for a lap gan. It is 40, 43 inches by 37. So no. 32. So it's it's a little bit bigger than normal, but this is the blanket here. And it's um 
I did the continuous join on this and if you go to Heather the Crochet Witch, she has a tutorial on it and um, it works up so well. And I decided to do uh, the rounded yellow and the, the yellow, that way there's more covered up since there are big gaps in the flower. But I'm, this is gonna be fine for a wheelchair lap gan. In the homes they use industrial washers, but they're very secured in the corners so nothing's going to come loose or anything like that some flowers that sit up um i can't donate because uh it gets destroyed in the wash so that i'll just turn it sideways so that's the blanket that i did and i am very pleased with it i really like it my granddaughter loves it she goes oh no no i want a blanket like that i said well you can't have this one but uh, one of these days i'll make her a uh a 60s uh blanket she's got so many blankets we don't know what to do with anymore she keeps requesting everything so uh i will do another one eventually for her but not right now so i'd like to show you carlotta's uh uh, inspiration. Uh, she also made a blanket and um, something extra, which is wonderful. It's um, a beautiful blanket. And like I said, it matches perfect. I've got the picture up here, I hope. And um, I love the birds. And she found it on Pinterest. It's just a graph game that she found on Pinterest. So it, it's like perfect for the book. Carlotta, you did an amazing job. And on I don't know which side is going to be on, but on the other side, with the remaining yarn that she had, she made a a basket to match the blanket. So what a wonderful gift for somebody, Carlotta. It's beautiful to have both of them at the same time, same colors. It's just spectacular. Carlotta, thank you so much. And um, she's been sending me pictures in every month. So if you'd like to send some pictures in of what you're doing, I'd love to receive them. I love seeing anything crochet or, or knitted now. So um, thank you, Carlotta. Beautiful, beautiful work. And um, wow, just spectacular. Thank you. So like I said, short and sweet today. So our next book is, it was submitted by Gail S. And... It's one of her favorite books, she says, and it's Even Now, Ever After. And from what I understand, it's two books, but sold as one book, or you can buy them separately. So here's the picture here that I found with the two books, and the colors are beautiful. It's going to be a very, very pretty blanket that I, I'm hoping. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'll pick my colors in a few days and get started with that. So, oh, and sorry, the, the author of the book is Karen Kingsbury. So even now, ever after, I have downloaded the book for myself. Um, haven't had a chance to even look at it yet. I believe it's a love story. And what did they say? Where they split up, but they keep thinking about each other. So I'm hoping it's going to be a great love story. So uh, I'm looking forward to reading that. So our new book for July is Even Now, Ever After. So I hope you can find inspiration in the colors of this book cover. I, once again, will be doing some sort of wheelchair lapkin. I have no idea of the pattern I'm gonna use. I will be using all my yarns from upstairs, hopefully, in my yarn room. I still haven't got it clean for you ladies to take a look at. It's just, every time I think I'm gonna get there, something happens, and I've been so busy uh, with my mom lately that you know what? Close the door. No one's going to see it. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and uh, liking my videos. I really appreciate it. I have a wonderful community of women and we are all women from what the statistics say. So I'm so pleased um, that uh, we can share in some kind of uh, book inspiration. And I think I'm going to continue this because I really like it because uh the colors that are in the book covers, I would never think of putting together. So it's a great way to see how colors work together. So thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.